James Webb Telescope. Talk about the, the James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST is performing better than the specifications. The image was taken in infrared wavelength. We're looking at, at light traveling 186,000 miles per second. Okay. You can imagine that. The search for answers still continues as the James Webb Telescope peers through the endless bounds of space. We discussed Proxima b in an earlier video, but scientists' new finding could change our understanding of this super-Earth. We know that there might be artificial lights on the planet, but researchers have found something far more exciting. So, could there actually be life on Proxima b? The James Webb Telescope has set its goals straight. One of its more fascinating and exciting goals is to search for habitable exoplanets where one day we could look for evidence of life beyond our own planet. That, as you can already imagine, isn't as straightforward as it seems. Habitability is no simple matter, and finding another Earth-like planet might be more complicated than you think. The closest alien planet to our solar system is even more Earth-like than scientists had thought, new observations suggest. In a study, an international team of researchers found that the minimum possible mass for Proxima b, which lies just 4.2 light-years from Earth, is just 17% more than our own planet. Scientists earlier thought that the exoplanet, which lies in the habitable zone of its star, was about 1.3 Earth masses large. The new measurement indicates that Proxima b could have even more similarities to our home planet than previous observations led scientists to think. Researchers studied Proxima b using the Echelle spectrograph for rocky exoplanets and stable spectroscopic observations, or ESPRESSO for short. How cool is that name, though? Just saying. Anyway. Espresso is a Swiss spectrograph that is currently mounted on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. Spectrographs observe objects and split the light coming from those objects into wavelengths that make it up so that researchers can study the object in closer detail. The exoplanet was first detected four years ago by an older spectrograph, HARPS, or High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, which is installed on a scope at ESO's La Silla Observatory in Chile. But with these newer observations, scientists have an updated, ultra-precise view of the planet. Can I just say that I'm really digging these names right now? First Espresso, now HARPS? It's almost like they have a dedicated person creating these names. Anyway, the study's co-author Francesco Pepe, an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva in Switzerland, and the person in charge of Espresso, said in a statement, We were already very happy with the performance of HARPS, which has been responsible for discovering hundreds of exoplanets over the last 17 years. We're really pleased that Espresso can produce even better measurements, and it's gratifying and a just reward for the teamwork lasting nearly 10 years. Michael Mayer, a Swiss astrophysicist who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2019 and helped develop a new type of spectrograph called Elodi, said in the same statement, Espresso has made it possible to measure the mass of the planet with a precision of over one-tenth of the mass of Earth. It's completely unheard of. At this point, some of you are all probably saying, cut to the chase now, what's so special about this planet? Well, Alejandro Suarez Mascareño, the lead author on this study, says, Proxima b is one of the most interesting planets known in the solar neighborhood. This alien world orbits Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun. Because the planet orbits right in the middle of its star's habitable zone, it's possible that liquid water could exist there. And you know how it goes. Where there's water, there's a potential for life. Due to its Earth-like mass, scientists believe that not only could liquid water exist on Proxima b, it could also be a rocky terrestrial planet similar to Earth. So far, Proxima b has been checking all the right boxes. That's cool and all, but here's the thing. Proxima b orbits around a star that, while close to our solar system, is also much dimmer and much less massive than our Sun. 
Researchers think that the exoplanet is tidally locked and in synchronous rotation with its star, which means that one side is always facing the star and one is always facing away, giving the planet a light side and a dark side. Not to be mistaken with the light and dark side in Star Wars, that's something completely different. Currently, it's unclear if Proxima b has an atmosphere. The planet lies very close to its star, completing one orbit in about 11 Earth days. Basically, each year on Proxima b is 11 days. So if you were 25 years old on Earth, you'd be about 830 years old on Proxima b. That's like having a birthday every other weekend. That's way too much partying for me. Anyway, some researchers think that radiation coming from Proxima Centauri might have stripped away Proxima b's air, making it impossible for the alien planet's surface to hold onto liquid water. Which means that, as mentioned before, it could be habitable. But, of course, we don't yet know all the details about habitability for exoworlds. We do know that many factors affect a planet's habitability, such as temperature, composition of the planet, and atmosphere, water or lack thereof, and radiation from its sun. The exoplanet's host star is a red dwarf. What is a red dwarf, you ask? Well, a red dwarf is the smallest and coolest form of star. Red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star in the Milky Way, but because of their low luminosity, individual red dwarfs cannot be easily observed. So red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are known to emit flares, and these flares make habitability for red dwarf exoplanets even more complex and interesting. There's a small problem though. Red dwarf stars are very energetic and emit dangerous radiation that could strip the atmospheres off of planets that are too close. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a small problem. That's pretty major. Whether this is the case for Proxima Centauri b is not known yet. If it does still have a sustainable atmosphere, it would be an ideal target for other telescopes to look for possible biomarkers, chemical signatures of life. According to Christoph Lovis at the University of Geneva, the confirmation of Proxima Centauri b, now the nearest confirmed exoworld, is exciting. Its potential habitability and proximity to our own solar system gives us something to think about. It's another big step towards finding an inhabited world beyond Earth. Just like anything else related to space, there may be more surprises in store. There's also possibly evidence of another and smaller planet in the newest data. A secondary detection was also made, although it isn't certain whether it is actually a planet. If it is, it is even smaller than Proxima Centauri b. If it is a planet, in comparison to Mars or Mercury in size and mass, it is estimated at a minimum Earth mass of less than one-third, and orbits the star in only around five days. It wouldn't be too surprising, though, in that low-mass stars like red dwarfs tend to have multiple planets in their systems. More observations will be required to either confirm or refute this possible second planet. Don't turn away just yet, there's more. Last January, another research team announced their findings of another possible planet orbiting Proxima Centauri called Proxima Centauri c. This one is also still just a candidate at this point, but if real, it's about six times as massive as Earth. This would make it a super-Earth, planets that are significantly larger and more massive than Earth, but smaller and less massive than Neptune. It is estimated to orbit the star every 5.2 years. If both of the new candidates were to be confirmed, that would mean Proxima Centauri would have at least three planets orbiting it. While we're still not sure what Proxima Centauri b is actually like, just the fact that it exists around the nearest star to our solar system supports previous research showing that Earth-sized and super-Earth-sized exoplanets are common in our galaxy. I think that in itself is pretty darn exciting. 
What we should be excited about is that researchers have confirmed the existence of an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting the nearest star to our Sun, Proxima Centauri. It's final. As scientists continue to study this system with new and better technology, we will be able to better understand what it's really like on Proxima b. What do you think? Does Proxima b support life? What else will we find there? And what are we missing? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.